Hey, what's up, people? Pizzow here, and today I want to talk to you guys about 2018's The Super. Now, this is partially going to be a review of the movie as well as a review of this Blu-ray release from Lionsgate. And I knew very little about The Super going into it. I thought the plot sounded really interesting, however. I thought the setting sounded really interesting. The movie is written by the guy who wrote The Black Swan. It's directed by uh, a guy who directed a film called The Dark Side of the Moon a couple of years ago, which I heard was really good. And the movie co-stars Val Kilmer. Uh, now, the Blu-ray would make you think that Val Kilmer is the star of the show here. He definitely is not. He's only in the movie for 15 minutes or so. But Val Kilmer is without doubt the best thing about the super. Because if I had to describe this movie with just one word, it would be confused. Uh, not that it's a confusing movie. It's a confused movie. And that it doesn't quite know what it wants to be, what it wants to do, or... Uh, where it wants to go. Uh, the Super is a supernatural thriller, murder mystery. However, it does very little <laughs> with either of those things, which is unfortunate because I think the plot is really interesting. The plot revolves around an apartment building in Manhattan where the residents have the nasty habit of disappearing without a trace. Now, that plot and that location, the movie takes place pretty much entirely inside this apartment building could have been pulled off really well with a lot of atmosphere, with this really, you know, this claustrophobia. Um, and it has none of those things. <laughs> the super is not claustrophobic. It's atmosphere free. It's tensionless. There's no suspense. The plot, the, 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 the pacing is off. Just the plot overall feels halfway realized. The characters are paper thin then they throw at us this sixth sense inspired uh, twist toward the end that just quite frankly angered me. <laughs> this feels like a movie that the screenplay was just unfinished. Uh, it also feels like the kind of movie where big chunks of it were cut out in, uh, in post. I'm not sure if those big chunks would have made this a better movie probably not um, for instance uh, one character in the film mourns another character when uh, they disappear now they've only met one time it was a very very brief meeting however once <laughs> this character disappears the other one just mourns for him grieves him and it just kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense the cast overall is is pretty good in this film. The acting is not bad. There's a lot of recognizable faces in this cast. They just don't have a whole lot uh, to work with. Um, Val Kilmer and a nearly unrecognizable Val Kilmer is the saving grace of this film. Now, the last movie I saw him in was The Snowman. He was practically unrecognizable in that film as well. All of his dialogue had to be dubbed. Not sure if his dialogue was dubbed in this movie or not. If it wasn't, kudos to Mr. Kilmer because he <laughs> does a pretty good Russian accent. Um, but for those of you who don't know, uh, Val Kilmer um, lived through throat cancer. So he doesn't, you know, he doesn't look like the Val Kilmer that we all know and love, but he still got that charisma. Um his character in this film, he's one of the superintendents of this building. He's into some Ukrainian voodoo, as one character in the movie says. I have no idea what that exactly is. His character is the only li really likable character in the movie. He's the most intelligent character in the movie. He's the only sympathetic character in this movie. And the character's kind of bizarre. The character's kind of odd. But I really... <laughs> And again, it's a credit to Mr. Kilmer that he played it straight. I was just really hoping that he was going to go over the top and just ham it up in this movie to really give it some energy because this movie is in desperate need of energy. Again, this movie just has no punch to it whatsoever. Um, but even Val Kilmer could not save the super. I definitely cannot recommend it. Um, it's just not... Not that great a movie. However, if you are a Val Kilmer super fan or you just have to see every movie that came out in 2018, look into picking up this Blu-ray of the super from Lionsgate. Let's check out the presentation first. Uh, we get a nice slip case with this release. The sleeve is not reversible or, or anything like that. Um, as far as the picture quality and sound quality are concerned, they were both solid. I'd give them both a, a four 
out of five at the very least. Um, this comes with a digital code. Um, the only extra really on this release is a making of entitled He Has Your Keys, the making of the super in which the cast and crew discuss the film, discuss their characters, discuss the making uh, of the super. I cannot recommend the super unless you are a hardcore Val Kilmer fan or you just have to see every movie that came out in 2018. If that is the case, look into picking up this Blu-ray release from Lionsgate. I'll put a link to their website down in the description. If you're not a Val Kilmer super fan or you, you're you okay with not seeing every movie that came out in 2018, you can skip the super. It's... um. It's very easily skippable, <laughs> put it that way. If you've seen the super, please let me know your thoughts on it down in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite Val Kilmer movie is down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here. Hope you guys out there all are all having a great, safe, happy, and healthy holiday season. Whatever holiday you celebrate Take care, and until next time, peace. Join the A Buck A Month Club and help support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to my current patrons, Kevin Smythe, Orc145626, B-Movie Mike, Robert Sobel, Turi Delamore, Stephen Flanagan, Lori Holt, Mitch O'Dell, Farron Sutton, Craig Farrand, Jeremiah Lambert, Grindhouse Grotto, Joseph Charlesworth, Chris Earls, Derek Janna, Demon Waffles, Tim Williams, Stone Gassman, Zachary Barton, Mr. Bibby86, James Welch, Eli Geisler, Jeff Overing, Cliff Hostetter, Kyle McGuire, Jay the Stingray, Lorne Dick, Dixon, Travis Davis, and Dave Barnes. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.